Marching bands have been around for decades. From small to large towns across America, they have always been a major attraction for the young at heart. These high-stepping, rhythm-making musicians always knew how to put on a show. But today, in the 21st century, while most marching bands continue to be major attractions, there are a few bands that truly stand out from the rest, basically stealing the show at competitions. This is one of them, the Jaguar Pride Marching Band of Blue Springs South High School. And this is just a sample of their show called Gladiator. But before we see the entire presentation, let's go behind the scenes and learn more about this award-winning program. At the very beginning, it would, it would just be an, a cruel punishment to say, okay, dive in immediately with your instrument. You have to take it step by step like anything else that you do in the world. You very first have to teach them, this is how you stand, this is how you move. So before we ever go on the field, we're inside doing across the floors. Um, first, this is how you stand correctly. This is all the commands that they need to understand everything we do. Then taking the first step and then moving eight steps and then gradually moving more and more and teaching different styles inside. Then you have to teach them this is a football field because what we use is a little different than a normal football player. You have exact coordinates that are in the field. And so you have to teach them what all these markings on the field mean and, and how big exactly an eight to five step is, meaning as eight steps for every five yards and what the relationships are on the field. Then you give them a drill chart. And we, we write all the drill and you, you, they get a drill chart in front of you. You have to teach them how to read that drill chart. Then you set them chart to chart. And we, we really share with them the fact that drill is not just the chart itself, but the pathway from chart to chart. That's what drill is. So then we have to work on that. How do we get from pathway to pathway and be aware of your surroundings? And then the next step is putting their instrument in their hand. Because too many programs will put their instruments in their hand immediately and the instruments are damaged or the kids are focusing on how do I hold my horn and forgetting everything else here down. So you have to do it within steps. And then you add the instrument and you be aware of your upper body carriage. And then you start singing passages or we, we'll use the iPod and play passages while they're moving from set to set so they can hear it in their ear and then they start singing and then we do air articulation and then we will stand and play and then move and play. So it's a whole process to get them being prepared to be able to move. And a lot of kids will, will come during the summer and say why are we here during the summer this much ahead of time? Before school ever starts a lot of times we have a football game and it's not just the halftime show that they have to be prepared it's the pregame as well. And that's what makes it more difficult. We have to have everything ready that early. And what we do in the stands, all the crazy cheer stuff that we do, um, we have to have that ready in the stands as well. Pre-game, halftime, parade stuff, the drums cadence, everything has to be prepared. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the camera. After a few short weeks of summer practice, the new school year begins and football season quickly kicks into gear. The band begins a very busy schedule which includes performing at Friday night football games, marching in local area parades, and participating in five different band competitions around the Midwest. Weeknight practices are definitely a must no matter the conditions. It's the night before the final competition. Colder air is moving in with strong winds. This windy night drops the wind chill into the 20s and causes some difficulty in this final important practice. Here we go. This is on the entire 18 counts. Set. It's up to you. It's not about the trophy, it's about you doing your ultimate best tomorrow. This is the temperature tomorrow night. Okay? So, let's get focused, let's get going. Yeah, check your feet, put your feet together. How you can get there better next time. Jasmine, just a little bit. 
And on this cold night, take a break actually means try and stay warm. Hi, that is creepy. It's a robot eye. I see you. This is what it's about. This is what it's about now. Tomorrow is it. You have no other chances. Let's get a really good run in. Don't have any excuses. This has been a long season. Think about this. You guys started way back, some of you in June. Why for tomorrow? Theoretically, the drum line and the guard haven't stopped since we've been here. So let's make this as strong as run as possible. You got to jump up and down, get warm on the way there. This is it. Final run. Let's go. Let's do this. I'll be honest with you, I had trouble sleeping all week long and it doesn't really help that I'm, that I'm not feeling well and on top of that I'm not sleeping because of the fact I'm excited about Saturday. Tomorrow's going to be a great day, okay? Go out there, give everything you got. And that's all you can do, right? Yeah. 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 Give me a gladiator scream! They're doing good. Yeah? They're doing good. They're going to give them a show they'll never forget. Yeah, they're ready. They'll be great. We're ready. October 31st. No, it's not Halloween for these young men and women. It's showtime. More than 30 high school bands from around the Midwest have gathered at University of Missouri for the Champion of Champions competition. South High School performs in the afternoon in the preliminaries. Their high scores invite them to return for the final round that evening. So now, while the sun is about to set and their championship round is just two hours away, their buses become their temporary homes, and the parking lot, well, becomes their dinner table. Hey, Let's go over here filming this cook. Hey, 